such yeah. Oh, I did not even see you there. Now, before we start the program, I would like... Actually, I will motherfucking sing a song to you. Don't you stop love for me. That's all you're getting because I'm not trying to get copyrighted. The fuck? Enjoy the rest of the video. Hey, bitch, it's me, Brett, and welcome to part two of my skincare routine. This is my nighttime routine. You are watching my motherfucking nighttime routine. Now, if you haven't watched my day routine, bitch, what the fuck? And what the fuck? And first of all, who the fuck do you think you are for not fucking watching it yet? I will leave the description down below so you can watch it. I thought I had to do this right. Like I said, this is a two-part video, so if you haven't watched the first one yet, watch the first one first. I really recommend it. I'm gonna wait here. You can open up a tab or whatever and watch that first. I will be here waiting. <laughs> Bitch, I know that why you haven't watched it yet. Go watch it. Now, if you have already watched my motherfucking first one, then thank you motherfucking much, bitch. You are the reason why. You, you bitch, you, you, bitch, you. Not the bitch next to you, but you are the reason why I make these videos. Duh. And if you guys didn't already know, I am posting two motherfucking videos every week of this motherfucking month. Yes, bitch, two motherfucking videos, bitch. I don't even post once a month, bitch. So the fact that I'm doing two times a motherfucking week in one motherfucking month. And bitch, you're probably like, why? Because I'm an attention whore and I want to be everywhere, duh. Like I said, I will be posting every motherfucking where, so four times every week on my Instagram, two times every week on my motherfucking YouTube, and every day on Snap. On Snap. On Snap. On Snap. On Snap. On Snap. Now, my skincare routine doesn't actually start until I'm out of the bath, so let a bitch take her bath down. If you guys know me and watch my Snapchats, you guys know that I don't really wear makeup every day of my motherfucking life. I don't know if you can, I don't know if anyone can ever do that. But when I am wearing my makeup, I like to remove it with a makeup remover cleansing towelette from Neutrogena. Everyone uses this, it's so good. So I like to use this only specifically on my face area, not so much on my eyes. So let's just pretend I have makeup on and yeah. I don't really like to use towelette on my eyes because my eyes are very sensitive and when I do scrub it with the towelette, they tend to like swell up and it's just not cute so I just use that on my face. Now for those stubborn waterproof stuff and basically on my eyes and around my face, I like to use the Lancome cleansing oil. It's the smoothening and purifying one. It's really amazing. So I'm going to show you guys how I use this. So I usually like to use it on my eyes. It gets rid of everything that you have on it. It could be waterproof, it could be fucking cloud proof, sun proof, skin proof, oil proof. It just gets rid of everything. I recommend not wetting your face first. Make sure your face is dry. Like I said earlier, I only do this when I am wearing makeup. I just feel like it's redundant if you're not wearing makeup and you do this. That was like, what the fuck, bitch? But I did it anyways, just for the sake of this video. But after I have nothing on my face, I go ahead and take a bath. But I already did. So let's move on to part two of the motherfucking video. <laughs> so the second step actually takes in my kitchen, and I actually like to take fish oil pills. Now, this has many benefits, including healthy skin, healthy hair, healthy pussy bitch, everything healthy. So I just like to take it as my vitamin. And as a tip for drinking, I'm drinking so much in my Bitch, if you don't get the fuck out. So as a tip for drinking a lot of water every day, I like to fill up my cup all the way to the top and I like to drink it all down just to make sure I'm getting as much water as I can. 
can and you're kind of killing two birds at one stone taking pill and drinking a lot of water so really don't need this if you are still really young like I really don't see the point of you taking fish oil if you're like 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 like what the fuck you really don't need this but it's just me being extra you do need water though now for the face mask I either make it or buy it in this case I will be making it but when I am using a mask that I buy I like to use the glam glow super mud or the Glam Glow Flash Mud Brightening Treatment. They are both really good, but it just depends on those days where I'm like, do I really want to suck up everything that's underneath my skin? Or do I just need a little touch up or brightening? This is a really strong mask. I don't recommend this using it like more than two times a month because it is so strong. But for the brightening mask, however, it's okay. You can use it like at least like once a week or so. Now for the mask that we will be making, it's super easy and super simple. You will be needing an apple cider motherfucking vinegar with the mother, of course. And you'll be needing the Health and Beauty Aztec Secrets. This is the Indian Healing Clay Mask. I got this from Whole Foods. It's really cheap. You guys can get it on Amazon. Super cheap. I'll leave the links down below. After you need tea tree oil, they sell this everywhere. It's really not that hard to find it. Now, I like to start off with one tablespoon of this like whatever i feel like i will be needing put it in the bowl like so and then you kind of have to gradually add on the vinegar but do not use a metal spoon to mix this at all just don't it fucks up the ingredients and such i don't know what it is just don't use metal to mix it Now if you add too much, it's okay, you can always add on more of this. Just sprinkle it on until it's like a fucking pancake consistency. Now it should look something a little bit like this. This should be the consistency for it. As you can see, she's really cute. Now we're gonna add a little bit of tea tree oil. Now you guys can substitute this for lemon or honey and whatnot, whatever you guys have. Or this part is actually even optional, you guys don't need it. But you just need at least like two drops or three or whatever you want to put. And we're mixing that all together. Now the tea tree oil has a really distinct smell. So if you guys don't like the smell of vinegar, if you guys don't like the smell of the powder, the tea tree oil really helps mask it. Now this should be ready. We are going to go back to the bathroom to put this on. We are just going to evenly put this all around our face. Um, this is a really, really strong mask. You will feel your face pulsate while it's drying. So only use this mask at least, not at least, bitch, once a week at most because it's super strong and using it too much will dry out your skin and too much of that is gonna fucking fuck up your skin. Like I said, I recommend using this at most once a week and Honestly, you guys could even just use this once every other week and if that's even too much for you, use it once every month. Now when you have everything on, I recommend leaving it on for around 15 to 20 minutes or however long it takes for all of it to dry. I usually like to take this time to just bask in my YouTube comments. So leave a comment down below if you guys like my motherfucking skincare videos and I'll be motherfucking reading it with my face ass on, probably, or whatever. So yeah, leave a comment down below. Like I said, bitch, 15 to 20 minutes or how long it takes for your face to dry. Okay, so now that my face has dried up, I can't really talk right now, but it's been around 20 minutes and we're just gonna wash it off. It might be difficult to wash it off, but just try your best. I recommend washing it off with warm water, by the way.
As you can see, my face is kind of reddish from all of the pulsation that fucking mask gave me. Shit, I feel like I just had the exfoliation of my life. But, on the days where I don't wear a mask, I usually just go straight ahead on washing my face. Now, for washing my face at night, I like to use a ceramic slip clay cleanser from Sunday Riley. Um, yeah, I like to use two pumps of it because one pump, bitch, that goes nowhere. Now, I like to kind of like self-tie my face. I like to do 15 seconds each on my cheeks like this. 15 seconds. And that's how I wash my face. I don't really like to use like thin brushes after I use like my mask because it's just too much work. Now, when I'm drying my face, I don't like to use towels that I use all over my body. I like to use paper towels. So I just put them on the bathroom with me and I like to use a fresh paper towel every time I dry my face just to avoid like cross contamination and germs like from transferring on your face. Now I am ready for the rest of my skincare routine. Let's go to my makeup room. So now, welcome to my makeup room. So at night, I like to put two things on my face, but I have a bunch of products to show you guys to choose from. So I like to put a moisturizer first, and then a treatment or an oil. So a moisturizer, I always go with the Tatcha, the water cream. This is a really light moisturizer. My skin is combination skin, so I really don't need that much fucking moisture or whatever so I usually recommend the touch of the water motherfucking cream so when I am a dryer or when I am traveling because I do tend to get dry when I'm traveling I like to use the H2O plus beauty oasis ultra hydrating cream or just the regular hydrating cream I feel like I like the ultra better because it makes your face really sticky I also even use this as a fucking primer base I don't know bitch it's really good so today I'm just gonna go in with the H2O Plus Beauty because I just got back from LA for VidCon and my face was really dry up there. I don't know if it's the weather. It was, I mean, it wasn't really that cold up there, but my face just gets dry every time I travel. That was the two moisturizers that I usually use. Now I'm gonna show you guys two treatments and two night oils that you guys could choose from. Now for treatments, I like to use the Drunk Elephant TLC Brown boost glycolic nice room. Bitch, I don't got time for all this science shit. I like to use the drunk elephant, the one in pink, because I feel like I wake up and my skin is very soft, like and very rejuvenated, I feel like. So I like to use this. Now if I want a lighter treatment, I like to use a good jeans treatment. I used to think this was a fucking moisturizer, which I guess it could be if you're daring. This promise is brightening, refining, and plumping, and it just does all of that. I really don't like to use this after I shave or after I pluck my eyebrows because bitch, it hurts. So today, since I plucked my eyebrows and shaved, I will be using the TLC from Boost Glycolic Night Serum from Junk Elephant. Bitch. Just one pump. Now, after you put on the treatment, you guys might want to put on a night oil or not. It's okay. You guys can also just substitute the night oil for the treatment. So, the two night oils that are, I recommend are from Sunday Riley. This is the Luna Sleeping Night Oil. It comes in this vintage blue packaging. And the UFO Ultra Clarifying Face Oil. And it comes in this green one. After using both of these, I think the Sleeping Night Oil is a little bit more oilier texture than the Clarifying Face Oil one. So it really depends on what you want. It'd be great if you guys have acne or if you guys don't want to put too much oil on your face. I really recommend the Clarifying Face Oil. The Luna Sleeping Night Oil has retinol and blue tansy and it promises to reduce the appearance of pores and wrinkles while fighting the signs of premature aging. Now, if you have oily to acne prone skin, I really recommend this. And if you have more of a maturing, because my skin is not mature, bitch, ain't nobody mature here. If you have a maturing skin or if you just don't really struggle much with acne, I really recommend this. Or you guys could even mix it if you want, but bitch, ain't nobody got time to motherfucking invest in all that shit. Just saying. 
Now last but not the least, when I'm having those days where I just break up because sometimes I let go of myself, where I let go of myself and I just don't fucking do any fucking thing for my skin and I just break out everywhere. I like to use the Kate Somerville Eradicate Acne Treatment. Now this is a really bad example actually because I shook it. I shook it, bitch. I shook it and it got, it's pink all over the place. But I'm gonna flash a picture right here. So you guys see how it's like clear on the top part and like pink on the bottom part? You're gonna take a Q-tip and dip it inside this until you pass the pink part and when you pull it out it should be pink and you're just gonna dab that everywhere where you have acne and i also like to use this on those days where i just pop those stubborn acnes and i just pop it i put it on and i go to bed and by the time i wake up it's closed up and ready to be motherfucking exfoliated bitch thank you guys so much for watching I hope I helped you guys with your skin at all, even just a little bit. I love you guys so much, and I hope you guys are enjoying my July takeover thus far. Thank you guys so much for all your support. Follow me on all my social media. Everything is at Bretman Rock. Twitter.com slash Bretman Rock. Snapchat at Bretman Rock. YouTube at Bretman Rock. Bitch, you're already motherfucking watching me. Might as well motherfucking subscribe right the fuck now. And of course, Instagram at Bretman motherfucking Rock. And you guys can also follow me on my makeup page where I repost every talented makeup artist and fashionistas in the whole wild world that will be at Bretman's Vanity. Thank you guys so much again and I will see you guys on my next motherfucking video.